you've recently upgraded to an iPhone 5 or a new iPod Touch or iPod Nano, you've probably noticed that it doesn't work with your old speaker dock. Apple's new lightning connector is a punishing blow to your old accessories, and if you invest in a new speaker with a lightning dock, who's to say that Apple won't change their connector again next year? Fortunately, there are tons of great affordable ways to listen to your music wirelessly. I'm Donald Bell, and in this top five, I'm going to tell you the top five wireless audio technologies for your home, all of which are compatible with the iPhone 5. Starting off at number five, a Bluetooth speaker adapter. If you already have a speaker that you like, you can make it work over Bluetooth for a little less than $30. By going Bluetooth, this is gonna work with just about any phone or tablet, and it'll even work with the new iPod Nano. Now, it does degrade the audio a bit, and the wireless range is limited, but if you're looking for the cheap way to go wireless, this is it. If you don't already have a great stereo worth patching with an adapter, how about number four? A Bluetooth speaker. As wireless speakers go, the Bluetooth variety are the more affordable of the bunch. You still have to sacrifice some audio quality and some range, but there are some beautiful options out there, including some great portable speakers. At number three, AirPlay. Now, there's something sad about being driven to a new proprietary Apple format after the last one just burned you, but if you're a fan of Apple's whole it just works mantra, then AirPlay is gonna be the thing for you. It works with both audio and video, so you can stream content to an Apple TV or an Airport Express router or a dedicated AirPlay speaker system. The audio quality is better than Bluetooth and so is the wireless range since it works over Wi-Fi. The downside is that it only officially works with Apple products, so if your kid goes Android, you'll have to disown them. But if you do have a few Android users in the home that you're fond of and Bluetooth feels beneath you, that's where number two comes in, a Sonos music system. Great sound, great range, and a great cross-platform app that controls everything. Compared to the other options on the list, Sonos is a little pricey, but it's a solution for your whole house. From one app, you can put Barry White in the bedroom, Barry Gibb in the kitchen, Barry Manilow in the dining room, and then probably some Motorhead in the living room just to balance things out. Now, before we get to our number one wireless music system for replacing your old speaker dock, let me make sure you're aware of the $5 fix, a mini jack cable. Plug this thing into the aux input in the back of your old speaker system, and you're good to go. The dock may be dead, but wireless speakers aren't cheap, so just get a cable. All right, and finally, our number one option is a bit of a surprise. It's the Sony STR-DN1030 AV receiver. Is it small? No. Is it portable? Not a chance. But if you're like most people these days, the best speakers in your home are hooked up to your TV. So you plug this $500 receiver into the heart of it, and you can use any wireless music standard you want. Bluetooth, AirPlay, DLNA, Wi-Fi, it works with all of them. Now I know a lot of you aren't in the market for a new receiver, but I had to hand it to Sony. They threw in everything. Really, the perfect wireless system is gonna depend on your needs and your budget. For a more in-depth rundown of all these wireless audio options, check out John Falcone's article, The Dock is Dead, over on iPhone Atlas. And for more top fives like this, head over to top5.cnet.com. I'm Donald Bell. Thanks for watching.